Benny Big Gun here. Today I'm making a review on the Bruni Model 92 Caliber 9mm Blank. Let's take a look around the box. It says right here Bruni Model 92. Model 92 Caliber 9mm PAK. We have some letters right here which say BBM. On this side of the box we have nothing. On this side it says made in Italy. Let's take a look what's inside the box. It's made out of a plastic plastic casing. That's uh, these clips here that open and close it. Inside the box we have a uh, foam interior. We have the pistol itself. Go for the contents. We have a um, flare adapter. We have a cleaning rod. We have the manual, and that's all what's inside the box. Let's take a look at the manual real quick. Bruni SRL, yeah, Italia. Now let's see. Capacity de coeur touche, so it's English, Italian, and French, this manual. It says uh, magazine capacity 16 rounds, which is a misprint in my opinion, since it can only take 10 rounds, but I will get back into that later. Yeah, yeah. And then we're at the back of the manual, we have a schematic. How it all looks when it's disassembled completely. We'll get back into that later. Now, the pistol comes with one magazine of 10 rounds, as I'll get into in a minute. This gun is unloaded. As you can all see, it is unloaded. Let's get, some, let's get into some size comparisons. Uh, not size comparisons, I'm mistaken there. I'm going to tell you now the size and I'll measure it all out. Alright, let's see how long this is. The gun itself is 18 and a half centimeters long. Exactly 13 centimeters from top to bottom, right here. And the widest part is, let's see, seven and a half centimeters from the top of the barrel to the bottom of the trigger guard. Around the gun, we have some stampings. It says right here, I don't know how you can make it out. Bruni Model 92. It says KAL 9mm. I don't know how you can make this out. Made in Italy, it also says that right there. There we go. Maybe you can see that all a lot better. I apologize for any background noise that may happen during this video. Okay, uh, on the other side of the gun, there is some markings right here. Serial numbers just like that. On the bottom of the gun, we have nothing. It has a plastic, um, checkered plastic grips. Checkered plastic grips. And the, um, the magazine uh, release button has checkering on it as well. Provides a really nice, comfortable grip on that. And as just like the real Beretta 92, we have the safety right here. And the safety does not enable us to fire in any shape, form, or size. 
and uh, we also have the slide release right here. I'll show you the slide release. And then the takedown, um, the takedown lever. Okay, that's basically it about the size comparison and what's on the gun itself. And I also forgot to mention here, it's also textured right here. Uh, to provide a, um, to provide a uh, very nice grip to um, pull the slide back. And the trigger on this pistol is very, very nice in my opinion. In, uh, sing in double action, it, um, it's a very nice feel. Not too hard, very, very nice. And in, and in uh, single action, it's a very, very nice feel. It's very, very soft. Not soft, but it's a crisp trigger in my opinion. And uh, when it's on single action, it goes, uh, it travels a little bit. It goes click, I don't know if you heard that, it clicks a little bit. It goes like this far. And then it's hard here, a little bit. And then you, a small pull, and then the, the hammer releases. So the sights, we have uh, plain iron sights. Which... I'm probably not going to do a whole lot since this is a blank gun. But they're still quite nice iron sights. And on the safety, it says S for, for safety. Right here, it says S. There's an S sign right there. I don't know how you can see that. A small lever. Alright, now coming to the magazine and the misprint on the on the, the manual. Now the manual says 16 rounds. It is not 16 rounds. I will prove that to you. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you what the 9mm round, blank 9mm round looks like. They look like this. They are blank cartridges like this. Alright. Now I want to show you that I can only put around 10 rounds in this magazine. Now, I have 10 spent casings right here. As you can see, they have been fired. And I'm not going to be actually putting them in the gun, I'm only loading them into the magazine. Into the magazine. And uh, another thing to note, this magazine, uh, when you first buy the gun, it um, the spring is extremely hard to load. The first time I had big troubles loading it. So after it's been fired a couple of times, uh, the uh, the spring in the magazine really loosens up. And the last one is kind of very hard to put in, Oop. but it does go. And as you can see right here, it's uh, fully loaded. Actually, I don't know. At a pinch, you might be able to, yes, actually, you might be able to put an 11th round in here. I'll get another round out of my pocket right now, and I'll attempt to do so. There we go. That was very, very hard to put in. So it's uh, 11 plus 1. So now it's fully loaded the magazine with 11 rounds. So it's 11 plus 1 in the barrel, 12 rounds. The magazine can only take 12, not 16. That is an error. So now I'll unload this magazine. Okay. Now unloading the magazine is very easy. There's two ways to unload it. You can have one loaded while I'm doing it, or you can unload it in the firearm. <laughs> it's your choice. Oops. There we go. The magazine is quite light. Made out of metal, not out of plastic. As I could imagine a uh, 16 round magazine 
wouldn't be flushed like this. Has. This is flush. I can imagine a 16 round would stick out uh, about this much of the gun. And now I'm also going to show you how this this um, how this pistol field strips. Now it is very very easy to to field strip. It's a bit more difficult to put back together, but it, it's very very simple. Now get everything out of the way. Before I show you how to field strip, there's one, one, one more thing I want to show you. It's how the flare adapter threads onto the barrel. Now, oh, there we go. There. That's how it looks. Now, there's one thing about the flare adapter that I noted in the beginning. I believe it was uh, the, 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 fruce, the screw threads were painted somehow. And in the beginning, as I put the uh, flare adapter on, I tightened it like I am now. I would pull the slide back, I would look at the flare adapter, and it was loose each time. And I did that several times, keeping tightening it, tightening, tightening it, and now it doesn't doesn't come off anymore. You see it's still nice and tight. Now I believe that's because it was just new, so um, you have to keep an eye on that if uh, if you are uh, shooting with a flare adapter. And the flare adapter is also, you can put rubber, rubber balls in here, self-defense balls. Now the field strip this uh, pistol. All you need to do is uh, put it in, uh, lock the slide, bring this down like that. This I don't know if you saw that. But you bring this down and uh, you push it out. And then that noise you just have was a spring coming here. And then you can pull the slide off the, off the, off the gun itself. And then we have all the parts. We have uh, the, the interior of the slide. And uh, you can see our firing pin, our striker firing pin right here. The sights are on the frame, so it's. Uh, frame, sorry. The sights are on the slide of the gun, not on the frame. And so is the safety. We've got a pin right here, we got our. Uh, Guide rod and and spring. Here's the guide rod. And here is the uh, recoil spring. With full pronunciation as far. And then we got all the interior of the parts. All the interior parts right here. We, can, uh, we have access to the barrel. Now the barrel is blocked on two sides. It is closed on two sides. Now it is closed. There is a cross in the barrel. As I'm going to try and show you. I don't know. I'm gonna try and get some extra lighting. I'm gonna try and get some. Extra so I've got some extra light right here. And I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a bushing in there of some sort. A brass bushing. I don't know how you can see it. There we go. And that is contains this that blocks the barrel completely and um, there's also a cross in here I'll try and I'm gonna try and demonstrate for you all uh, yeah, you can't see it I don't think I don't know if you can see that but that is inside just the, a little bit in the beginning there's a cross and um, don't know how you can see it. There we go. See that? There's a cross in the barrel. It goes uh, like that. The cross, and that blocks it off completely. And also with the real uh, Beretta 92 FS. The um, spring, guide rod, barrel, it's all in the slide, where on the Bruni replica blank gun, it is uh, fixed to the frame. You see it is not removable, and that is for safety reasons of someone wanting to try and convert this into a fu real functioning 9mm, which is illegal in most countries and uh, would be very difficult to do. 
So, uh, obviously reassembly is uh, the, quite the opposite. The reassembly is, there's only one way to put the uh, guide rod back in. You just have to um, glide it in, like so. And the spring, it goes, there's no way to mess this up. The spring just uh, goes back on, like so. And then the, you have to line, this. I did that wrong. You have to line it all up as best you can and put it all back on, like so. And you have to be careful to put it back onto uh, the, um, the slide lock. And then, this is the part that's a bit hard, especially working around a tripod like I'm doing. You have to pull the guide rod uh, for the guide rod and spring. To enable the, because it's all pushed forward. I don't think you can make it up, but it's all pushed forward. It's blocking the hole. So if I just try to put this uh, pin back in, I couldn't. So I have to pull it all forward like so, and voila, that is it. Like that, it locks back into place. It's like that. Up, finished. Function test. It all, it's all back together. Safety. Double action, single action, it all functions fine. So, that's basically it. That's all of that's all of it, you all. So, that was my review on the Bruni Model 92. 9mm blank pistol. I hope you all like this video. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Please like, favorite, subscribe, and most of all, have a nice day.